20 years old, North London, Barnet, bred and born. I like to get the ball and be excited, take players on, beat players, create a lot and score. Best league in the world, best teams, best players. I'm absolutely buzzing to be a blue. So, another signing, Noni Mandweke, and uh, it's on the Chelsea official website. What can you say, guys? Um, Todd Bailey strikes again. It's absolutely uh, quite incredible, like, you know. Um, and there's a lot of news, actually, of players that's just put up latest Chelsea transfer news. Let's see what we can find. So, um, obviously we've got Liverpool tomorrow. Um, 9th versus 10th, Liverpool versus Chelsea. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? And it was quite interesting, Jurgen Klopp talking about the game and saying, yeah, it's just ridiculous, 9th versus 10th. It should be 2nd versus 1st or 3rd versus 2nd or 3rd versus 4th. It's a top, top, top game, as we know. Liverpool, Chelsea, and uh, he, he mentioned the fact that the amount of injuries that we we have, and of course their own injury issues and that, and he said it's just comparable, Chelsea's the only team comparable in terms of injury uh, problems, and he made the comparison that although he's not taking nothing away from Arsenal, who as we know are top of the table right now, if he was to take four or five of their first team players, three of their attackers or whatever, out of their side, they would be without a doubt affected, and so he's making that, um, you know, that that uh, comparison, and he's right. He's absolutely right. You know, although we did have a little subtle dig at us, um, reference the fact how we managed to get around things. Um, <laughs> but as I say, we've we've signed another player. Um, let's have a look what also is out there. So basically, it says here that um, obviously, as we know, Arsenal have got Trossard. Um, we've officially signed PSV Iden over star, Nolan and Drakey, in the sixth deal of the month. Um, and also, Brighton have rejected the latest bid. Well, I did actually tell you about this the other day um, from uh, Moises Castillo. Um, and we're also interested in Spurs um, Basuma. Another ex Brighton, Brighton player there, or, you know. Um, also says that Liverpool are eyeing out a surprise move for Mason Mount, uh, and uh, Manchester United want Harry Kane. But uh, yeah, I mean it's pretty active out there, guys. Um, obviously, a lot of chat about Declan Rice, um, a lot of links with him with regards to Arsenal. There's also some distraught links. Um, talking about the fact that Tottenham supporters and maybe Tottenham as a club are wearing thin their patience with regards to Antonio Conte and it's possible they may go in for another ex-Chelsea manager yeah Thomas Tuchel and I, I've got to tell you guys um, I think I would feel exactly the same as what I felt when Spurs got Mourinho um, they have a habit I don't know, of getting our managers you know um, even AVB um, as we said Jose Mourinho Antonio Conte but for, they, for them to get Thomas Tuchel I think I'd be absolutely just more than distraught you know just absolutely yeah Liverpool Echo here guys Mason Mount going on about Mason Mount let's have a look at what they've got to say here um, Danny Ings has joined West Ham uh, reports in Spain mentioning Jude Bellingham um, he has a preference to sign for Real Madrid ahead of Liverpool um, elsewhere uh, it also goes on linking Mason Mount to Liverpool but 
is obviously up to do with his contract, etc. Let's have a look. Um, Graham Potter in his uh, press conference, I know he said, he said that he wasn't really expecting any more players to come in in this particular window. But again, we should have to wait and see. There is a massive question mark over a lot of our players. Um, Christian Pulisic, um, Mason Mount's been talked about. There's a lot, you know, like um, um, Jorginho, there's a big link with him in Juventus. Uh, you know, there's obviously this big Newcastle co connection with Conor Gallagher and, let's say, Ruben and um, Hakim Ziyech. Uh, Uh, there's also a little talk here about um, Oliver Glasner's door. I think I think Tom Bailey will try to hold on to Graham Potter for as long as he can, as long as he can, given our dissatisfied fans with a decision to, to see him axe Thomas Tuchel. If, to, if Potter doesn't improve the Chelsea form in the league, Bailey may be forced to look for an alternative managerial option. We've heard that already in the summer, Chelsea knocked on uh, Oliver Glasner's door to see if there was any interest in joining the, the project in London as manager. It wasn't so concrete, and in the end, they went with Potter. That being said, Bowley will have been very impressed with how Glasner won the Euro Europa League with Frankfurt. If he has to get rid of Potter, Glasner could be a viable option. It's worth remembering that Chelsea's technical director, Christopher Verbell, did originate from RB Leipzig. When you're coming from Red Bull's coaching programme, everyone who graduates all hold a special philosophy. As Glasner has, you tend to share a similar view to current and former employees of a Red Bull club. So you see Vival and Glasner have the same view on football, which is one good reason as to why he could be a hot topic as at Chelsea if Potter gets sacked. Christopher Bell's links to the Bundesliga could be valuable uh, in regards that there is evidence already of a new regime being just as a, as cutthroat as the last when it comes to managerial seconds and appointments following the action of the Champions League winner, Thomas uh, Tuchel. Whether Chelsea will come to regret that latter decision remains to be given that the club's current haywire transfer policy hardly seems to be helping the new head coach adapt and thrive in his new surroundings. A lot of talk about our transfer policy at the moment, isn't there? About FFP, how are Chelsea doing it and all that one. But of course, these long contracts that they're handing out, it's all being calculated over that period of time of the contract. So if it's eight years, it, the actual price of the um, of the um, uh, the transfer fee will be set, uh, split into that number of years. And it's clear as day that we can go up to 200, 200 million minimum. Um, so, you know, that would be a hell of a lot of money, a hell of a lot of money uh, that we could spend. So there are no issues. If you've got the money, you can do pretty much as you want right now. With Jorginho and Ngane Kante's future at Stamford Bridge unclear, one might be inclined to argue that the side's efforts in the market have been neglectful of current concerns. The further addition of another forward in Nani Mundeki, though no doubt talented, will certainly leave many scratching their heads in that respect. Well, I've got to be honest, I don't know too much about him. Do you? Do you know anything? If so, put what you think down in the comments below. Um, as I say, massive game, Anfield tomorrow morning. Um, it's always a massive game when we play them, let's be honest. There's not a lot of love between the two sides. And it is ridiculous, ninth versus 10th, you know, two absolute humongous clubs. And um, both in desperate need of a win with both of us in similar, having similar issues, especially on the, you know, the injury front. We should have to wait and see as to whether our new signing will make um, a debut or an appearance. Um, Potter has said um, that it's... Um, uh, you know, it, it, it's likely that he will actually get onto the pitch at some point. And with the injuries that we have right now to Raheem Sterling, who incidentally has been touted for a possible leave, as indeed um, Kulabai, 
can say there's lots, lots going on at our club right now. Um, we should have to, um, I guess, wait and see what happens there. But um, yeah, with the absence of those particular players and obviously Pulisic as well, um, it's possible that he is actually going to get some minutes on the pitch, which will be interesting. Obviously, Joe Felix won't be playing because of his red card at Fulham, which is a disappointment in itself because he really did look exciting and, of course, until that moment of madness. But, um, yeah, it's a huge, huge, huge game at Anfield. And, um, you know, um, let's, let's hope we can get another three points and push on. Um, we need to, for sure. But, yeah, so what do you think, guys, about um, our new signing? Do you know, as I say, anything about him? What do you think about the possibility of Thomas Tuchel perhaps going to... Uh, I know there's talk about Real Madrid, but there was also a little mention about West Ham. Um, what do we think about the possibility of him replacing Antonio Conte at fucking Tottenham? I could just talk about that. How do you feel about that if that were to happen? And last but no, by no means least, I just want to say a massive thank you to every single person that's contributed or sponsored my um, my four-year-old daughter, Imogen. Uh, right now, she's managed to raise up to about 640, 650 pounds. So she's actually extended it. Her haircut's not going to be for just under three weeks. So if she can raise, because these hairdos for um, ch children that have obviously been diagnosed with cancer and they've lost their hair, these hairdos, because it's real hair, that's what she's doing. She's actually uh, giving her hair as well as the money that's being raised by her getting her hair cut. 13 inches she's having taken off. Um, but um, each individual wig um, costs around about £500. So she secured one. She's well on her way now for getting uh, another wig for, you know, so that um, other children can have pretty hair again. And that's what her words were. I just want to say thank you to everyone out there. As I say, 570 odd quid last time I looked. Um, I'm going to put the link down below if you want to help out, you want to contribute. You don't have to, but I'll just much love and respect you all, really, really love to you guys out there and um and about 60 or 70 pounds in cash and she's actually had the um the actual charity itself the little princess trust contact her and um, just say you're a little superstar so she's buzzing off that so thank you guys massive respect to you and of course come on the chelps uh tomorrow at anfield let's get another three points um much love guys uh and um up the chills.